<laughs> Please state your name and for the folks at home. I'm Anna. Anna? Where are you from, Anna? France. <laughs> Which part of France, Anna? The southwest. You told me the north of France! <laughs> no, the I said France. to you before you came out, you said, uh, you said uh, I said, is anyone in from near Denmark? Because I've got this thing going tonight, I want to talk about Denmark. And you were like, no, no one's from Denmark. And then you said, I said, near Denmark? You said France. I said, what part of France? You said, northern France, near Denmark. I was like, oh, great! And then you come out here and you're not from the northern France. You're lying! <laughs> I'm French, what can I say? So, which part of southwestern France are you from? Uh, the Basque country. The Basque country? Yeah. Isn't that some kind of disputed territory with Spain? Yeah. <laughs> I feel myself wandering into a tricky European international incident. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> so, you're from the Basque country. What are you doing here in uh, Los Angeles? Uh, traveling, traveling so far. Traveling? Coming back from Hawaii. Hawaii? Oh, yeah. Ah, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. Did you, uh, Jeff and I know about, you want to do the Hawaiian thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. <laughs> So, uh, what do you do for a living in France? Uh, video editing. Video editing? Mm hmm Oh. Do you need an editor? <laughs> yes. I know why. <laughs> yes, we do. I happen to know why. Yeah, but I'm afraid you wouldn't understand lots of our... Well, actually, you know, when most of the time when I need an editor the most, they put up a little flag and it goes, ooh la la. So, actually, <laughs> you'd fit right. For example, when I say, ooh la la, that will appear as ooh la la through the magic of television. Yeah, that's nice. Could you do that? Sure. No, you couldn't because you don't have a work permit. <laughs> <laughs> or, or. I know. I could marry you. You could marry. I'm afraid I'm uh, happily married. No. Bummer. <laughs> Me? <laughs> All right, so you're not married? Are no, you looking I... for an American husband? If there's someone who's volunteering. Oh, there is now. <laughs> there is now. <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to send you to an American restaurant. What's it called? Café La Boheme. Café La Boheme. <laughs> <laughs> One of the... <laughs> oh, you won't find anything you'll like to eat there. Uh, probably not. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, La Boheme. That means the Bohemian. Yeah. That's a bit like you, traveling the world, seeing things. Mm -hmm. aye, 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 aye. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, it is. So you'll be going to a Bohemian cafe with a friend on CBS's tab. Thank you. Do you have a friend? No. <laughs> oh, come on, stop it. French people are all right. Most of them? Yeah. Some of them? You? Yeah. <laughs> ah, well. Oh, commercial break. That's right. Sorry, I forgot. We are not in France. <laughs> You go that way, I'll go that way, and that'll be like, you'll be France and I'll be America. <laughs> Thank you. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by the all-new 2014 Kia Sorento crossover. It has an answer for everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
Thank you so much to most of you. <laughs> most of you, but perhaps not the three girls in the front row who were like, ugh. <laughs> oh, why did he come out? You knew I was going to be here. <laughs> why is it him? I'm so disappointed. My name's on the damn door. <laughs> you knew, oh, I'm so disappointed. I thought it was going to be someone else. No, you didn't. You knew it was going to be me. <laughs> How dare you? How da dare you? How dare who? Who, me? No, not you, them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, so you're saying you hate what I hate and you like what I like? Yeah, that's right. I uh, agree with you. You agree with me? Why do you agree with me, Jeff? Because I'm your lover. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was very excited when I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> It is. It is also... It is also a great day for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of England. Elizabeth II, the Queen, was released from hospital today after being treated for a stomach virus. Now, she did not speak to the press, but when reached for comment, Prince Charles said, So close. <laughs> so very, very close. Drink your juice, mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a dark crowd. Yeah, that's good, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, President Obama's half-brother is running for office in Kenya. He's a political novice who was raised uh, in Africa. I don't know much about the half-brother. Ah-ha! Is he with it? Yeah, oh, come on, that was a joke. Shut yeah. the hell up. Why, Craig, that's our president. There shouldn't be jokes about him. On the contrary! <laughs> The mere fact that he is the president, Jeff, requires... Jokes. Jokes about him. Why, it even says it in the Constitution, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Remind me what it says. If the president is of the United States, he can be joked about by late-night douches every right, night. Right, exactly. <laughs> It is a great day for the city of Chicago, which turns 176 today. Happy birthday, Chicago. Do we, uh... <laughs> you have a map of the Chicago area, folks that don't know it. There you are, uh, the Chicago, like, over there. You got a car, you got a car, kind of gnarly up itself there. Yeah, that... That's, a, that's amazingly accurate, that yeah, one. Yeah. Chicago, of course, is world famous for its food. I enjoy their deep dish pizza. To me, deep dish pizza is like the Soren Kierkegaard of pizzas. The Soren Kierkegaard. Soren Kierkegaard, yeah. Soren Kierkegaard, the Danish philosopher. You see, it's kind of like the... Uh, the <laughs> 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 like, this audience is like, what the hell? <laughs> so... Soren Kierke, what? Soren Kierkegaard is a Danish philosopher. You got a picture of him? Yeah, there you are. Kierke, gorgeous. Anyway, Soren Kierkegaard, he's the deep, uh, deep mouth-watering, a little hammy, just like deep dish yeah, pizza. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is very upset. Craig, did you just compare Kierkegaard to pizza? <laughs> Jay Leno did that last week. <laughs> Do you know any? Uh, do you know any other uh, Danish philosophers other than Kierkegaard? Other Danish philosophers? Hmm. Uh, Kraftwerk? Are they? Uh, no, that's a German, oh, that's German. Uh, band. That's German yeah. band. Sorry. No, uh, Nikolai Grundtvig. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know who it was, you lying <laughs> bastard. Grudvig, of course. He's the father of modern Danish thought. Yeah, what, what would his pizza taste like? Danish, eh? <laughs> you have a picture of Grudvig? There he is, there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> We've wandered into a very odd area. I, I don't even know that we, we should have a picture of Nikolai Grudvig on the show. Why don't we do some Jean-Paul Sartre jokes? That'd be good. <laughs> Too French. Anyway, Chicago. Chicago. Chicago, well known for its sausage. The last time I was there, I couldn't believe how, you know, all the juicy sausage that was on sale for just a few bucks. <laughs> or the food. The food was good, too, wasn't it? <laughs> ah, we're back yeah. where we're comfortable. Yeah. yeah.
Yes! <laughs> Craig, never scare us again with obscure Danish philosophy. We want penis jokes! Penis jokes! <laughs> The hell am I talking about? Chicago, Chicago. Many people don't realize that Chicago is the home of two major cookie companies, Keebler and Nabisco, who are intense rivals. No one will forever get the great Keebler Elf massacre of 1934. <laughs> These horrible hats and pointy shoes everywhere. Those three elves found face down in a pool of their own fudge. <laughs> Please describe the scene as delicious. I, you know what? Do you know what uh, movie I like is The Untouchables? That's set in Chicago. Oh, yeah, good. That's ah, great. That's the one. All the cops in Chicago are corrupt except Sean Connery. And he says, Welcome to Chicago. This town stinks like a whorehouse at low tide. <laughs> he says that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the hell? I don't know. I I think it's a crazy person in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> Cra is it a crazy person or one of those I want to get noticed so I'm going to put my laugh on a little too much person? That's, that's also a crazy person. Oh, that's a crazy person too, yeah. What the hell is it all? Sean Connery, yeah. Whorehouse at low tide. Are you getting freaked out by this? Yeah, I'm, I'm, good. I'm a little nervous, man. A little nervous, because I'm like, I laugh like that is usually followed by a knife coming up like that. Like that. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Craig, if I can't have you, no one can. <laughs> and then they applauded that. They're really weird, aren't they? <laughs> 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 I think they're just here for the horse meat. That's all the rage now, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no, everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, it's not a real <laughs> horse. What hell, man. What the hell? Sensitive. Very sensitive. Oh, Greg, Greg, you're frightening the horse who's not a real horse. I know what you're thinking, but Craig, he's a real horse to us. Yes, to me too, crazy people, but he's not a real horse. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. We better keep moving tonight. Well, I, I, I don't have legs, so you'd move for me. What would you like me to move for you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to get us to the commercial break? I'm done here. I yeah, I'll, I'll get anymore. us out of here quickly. Whoa. Quickly, I'll get us out of here. What, what do you mean quickly? Quickly, like you want to go, you want to leave. Yeah, you want to bail. That was a little fast. Get you out of here fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. You want to do the uncomfortable thing? It seems a little... No, nah, no, nah, we'll do that later. All right. Let, let's build up to it. Stay tuned for more uncomfortable moments in television. <laughs> do the thing. Tonight's program is brought to you by Sark and Kierkegaard's Deep Dish Pizza, the pizza that can only be understood backwards but must be eaten forwards. Well, as crazy as you could go in modern Danish thought. <laughs> we're out of control. No, no we're not. <laughs> We've got a small flag and a dream. We're like a plucky high school basketball team. Yeah, that's enough, Craig, to build an empire. <laughs> no, no, it's not, Jeff. <laughs> However, um, never, you know, I was thinking Anna, the girl that was on earlier on, who's from southwestern France, the Basque. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, uh, we were in France two years ago now. Oh, that was great. That was yeah. a good time, wasn't it? You had a rough time, though, because they have a different electrical outlet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because they, they run on, uh, what, uh, 100 and something volts, and you're, you like it. You like it a little more oomph than that, Yeah, right? I like it a little more. It's all right. I'm used to strange outlets. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time, brought to you by Soren Kierkegaard's Inwardness Deepening Dish Pizza, with its own hidden forces you can only discover by eating. Play the 
Django. Here come the players. They're so fast. Up all night and feeling lonely. Making lots of macaroni. Track your pork and get right to it. Crave the one to see you through it. Oh. Tweets or emails, we don't care. We got both, so don't despair. Use your fingers, use your toes. Use your boobies. I've got those. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. This is from, uh, this is from uh, Craig in uh, Voorheesville in uh, New York. Uh, <laughs> says, uh, look, Craig sent a picture in there of a little, a little pecker. Oh. There. See that little pecker? Yeah. Ah, it's pretty. What's that thing that pecker's pecking? So it's wood. Oh, all right, okay. <laughs> Try to balance the Danish philosophy thing. Yeah, yeah, a little penis humor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it away. Nobody knew until you yeah. said that. Yeah, nobody knew. All right. Dear Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat, if you could have your own ice cream flavor, what would it be called? Mine would be called Bitter Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, what would yours be called? In Your Pants Surprise. Secretariat? Snow. <laughs> I was just going to say, uh, maybe yours could be called uh, European Beef Burger. All right, uh, this is from Sally Ann in Minnetonka in Minnesota, who says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, how do you decide who gets a place of honor over the fireplace? Well, it's a very complicated uh, thing. <laughs> how do we decide who goes up there? Well, people bring us useless crap, and we just put it up there. There you go, that's it. I knew it was something like that. Uh, this is from David in Montclair, New Jersey. You ever been there? Beautiful place. What a place it is. Uh, oh. What's your favorite part of Montclair? Oh, the southwestern portion. Yeah, like... <laughs> Are you saying the Basque country of Montclair? Yes, that's right. ah, it's, it's still in dispute with Spain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of troubles there. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. Why do you think fruit salad has such a bad rep? I, not with me. I enjoy fruit salad. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the slang uh, sexual thing. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought they were. You, you like a fruit salad? Oh, hell yeah. That's oh, fun. yeah. That's the, that, is that a real thing? Look, you better look it up. Look it up in your little tablet there, because we're not allowed to say iPad. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I know, because... Uh, yeah, look it up in your word that nobody <laughs> uses. <laughs> Callie in Richmond, Virginia says, uh, Dear Craig and Jeff, my two roommates watch your show every night and the TV is on while they are doing it. Does that bother you? Not if you've got a Nielsen box, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> is that, a, that, that a Nielsen box, is that a sex thing? Yeah, that's a sex thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from Iris in Shreveport, Louisiana. You ever been there, you got a little place there? What oh, a place. Yeah. It's time, middle portion, it. is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dear Craig, when is Jeff's birthday? It's the 14th of the <laughs> Finally, this is from Colin in Gresham, Oregon, who says, Dear Craig and Jeff, what is the best way you've ever heard to propose to your girlfriend? Ooh, quietly. <laughs> During a cough, perhaps. <coughs> Do you want to get married? <laughs> <coughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> what do you think the best way is to propose to your, in your case, boyfriend? <coughs> Root salad. <laughs> <laughs> we were right back. <laughs> is the best actor in the... My next friend. Yeah, that's how I introduced guest that. It's like, yo, Gabba Gabba. Now I've got a friend! <laughs> Hello, friends! Can you guess who my next friend is? <laughs> Jeff, can you guess? No, who's our next friend? Let's have a look and see! <laughs> He's a great actor. He's a good friend of the show. Please welcome Jeffrey Dean Morgan, everybody. <laughs> Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Oh. 
Yeah. I know. Hey, talk to me. Do you like you like the Yo Gabba Gabba introduction? I How do. About that? I do. Hello, friends. That's the uh, hello, friends. Hello, friends. That's kind of where I live in Yo Gabba you got Gabba. A, like three year old, right? Almost three. Right. Almost so you've like, seen a lot of Yo Gabba Gabba. Yeah, but more. Um, I have so little control in my house right now yeah. at all. But mostly we watch Transformers. Transformers? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa! Hey! 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 Yeah, no, yeah, it's, uh, it's Transformers Prime. They're robots in disguise. <laughs> that's right. More than meets the eye. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, that's the, that and dinosaurs. It was Thomas the Train, so my house looks like Thomas the Train threw up in it. <laughs> but, but those toys are now obsolete, so it's Yeah, they go through them quickly. Have you been through the Wiggles period yet? No. Oh, man, no. that's a tough time, yeah. No, no, not Wiggles. Around about four, it's usually about four, between four and four and a half, they're like, oh, the Wiggles, then you do the I mean, trumpet, yeah. uka chaka, uka chaka. it's bad, man. I've seen Wiggles on, and that's kind of, let's watch Sports Center, kid. No. You know? I had the Wiggles on this show. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. It was just that when my oldest boy was about that age, he went, I have the wiggles on. I'm like, Crikey. nobody's watching. That's pretty, okay, yeah. that's pretty good. I yeah, wish yeah, I could do that. Did you, is, did you make that hat? I did. I made it. I actually went to the, the store and bought it. There's, they, have a, they have a store? Where they they, there's hats? a store right out here. Did you no. guys go to the store? Oh, wait. So let me, let me get this straight. I, I the guest it. on the show buys a hat. None of you people are wearing this hat. <laughs> God, that's true. I'm the only sucker. Yeah. Um, yeah how much, how much, can I ask how much the hat was? It was less than twenty dollars. That's great value. It was really nice. I want to say it was like like fifteen bucks or something. That's, that's but I just bought it like five. I had bad hair. I rode the bike in and. Well, can can we see? Oh, that. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> all right yeah. So you were wearing your helmet then. <laughs> <laughs> Which I should have just worn on the show. Nah, nah. A little sparkly orange I'm helmet. impressed that you're still riding your bike in LA. I, I got a new one. I, I got a new bike. What'd you get? Um, I got a, a Harley Davidson soft tail. Um, Ooh, that's a nice bike. But then I blacked it out, took all remnants of chrome, got rid of it so it's all black, and then I got a little solo spring seat, like the, the kind of seats they had in the 30s. So it's... So you can't you can't have anyone uh, ride no, on your bike then. No, no. That's. Uh, I mean, I throw my kid on the back. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, that's different. So that's fun. Baby Bungie Bjorn. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's nice. How about Danish philosophers? You into them? Uh, often. No, I, I've 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 never. I mentioned them once or twice on the show. It never. How's works. it go? Never works. O for eight. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, what about Magic City? When's it coming back? Ah, oh, comes back in June. Thank yeah, you for asking. You no, I, no, you can't have your beard in that because you. No, that. no, I stopped filming that uh, right around Christmas time. So. It's not live. <laughs> <laughs> you should do it live. I know that would be something. Uh, live God, drama. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna approach stars and see what they think about That's that. That's a great yeah, idea. That is a live great idea. drama on the air. People would enjoy that for the terrible mess that it would be. It would be a horrible. I talk way too much. I couldn't memorize that much. Yeah, you do, do a lot of talking. I do, do you have a, a little machine like one of them auto trailer <laughs> prompters? <laughs> no, 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 like this. <laughs> <laughs> take a shot of the teleprompter. One of you cameras, take a shot of the other camera so the, the audience can see what the teleprompter is. Go on. There you are. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <why laughs> I, that was it. That's it. That's a, that was a great shot, by the way. Well done. <laughs> this is going to be a hell of a one hour show. Yeah, tonight. yeah, no kidding. Um, I think that's a fantastic guy. I would like to have one of these. This would cut down on my having to study a lot. It's not really a job, man. You just you just remember words and then pretend to be someone else. I've done that in marriages. <laughs> <laughs> and you paid for it. And I paid for it. And you know what? <laughs> Worth it. Worth <laughs> it. it. No, it was all right. I see you chose the pink cup tonight. What I did. That? I don't know. I just was feeling fresh. <laughs> 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 Looking for a fruit salad was, this evening, something like that? It was a, the, there was such an array, and I, my thing was who hasn't... I didn't want one that people had used, and I figured pink might You've be... You've changed, man. You used to be like a dude. Now you've blacked out the chrome in your bike, and you got a pink cup. <laughs> the hell happened to you, but Hollywood? At, but look at my hat. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> as long as you don't put it on backwards. I... <laughs> huh? <laughs> How about oh, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, yeah. Isn't that the new yeah, thing? That, that's the uh, thing, yeah. yeah that doesn't make a 40-something-year-old yeah. man look stupid. 
With my pants hanging down, a yeah, little yeah. bit low. They're like, hey, kids, how you doing? <laughs> Grandpa wants yeah. to rap. Yeah. I so don't look forward to that with my kid, if that's still a, a thing. Do you think that could still be a thing? Ah, uh, nah, that'll go away by then. Why not? It'll you be have some in your tooth. Did I? Yeah. Where? You got a big chunk of salad in there. <laughs> Makeup. Do I really? Yeah. All right, hold on. I wouldn't, I mean, I'm just trying to be your friend. Yeah, like a showbiz friend? A showbiz friend. <laughs> oh, no. hey, your penis is hanging out of your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's go present the Oscar. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Oh, that's the thing my kid does a lot. He wants to cheers about anything. He like, takes cookies, and he's like, cheers. All right. Dead of cheers. Um, but OK, so Transformers. Um, I was done with that, but if you want to talk. No, about OK, it. how about dinosaurs? Uh, the other thing is, um, is uh, we've got a big dinosaur thing going on. The other, the other night, not the, uh, we were in La Quinta. Mm. And, uh, out in the desert and lots of stars and beautiful mountains and take a little peyote a little peyote <laughs> yeah me and the kid dropping peyote <laughs> <laughs> um, um and, and he was curled up and i was in bed and i was flipping channels and he was asleep in my arms and and uh jurassic park comes on and, and so i'm like oh Jurassic Park, the dinosaur rex part and he's asleep i'm like so i'm watching it i'm like oh that was pretty well done that was a good good dinosaur and all of a sudden i hear dada it's a dinosaur <laughs> So now we have dinosaurs that live in our backyard, and he, like he's convinced of it. Like he'll, we'll be having a conversation at dinner time, and I'll just kind of look over his shoulder, like this, and he's talking to me, and I'll just go, and not say a word, and he's convinced that I'm looking at a dinosaur behind him. Did, did you see one there? Yeah, there was one right there. So that's our new thing. Is now that's how I keep him in line. Is uh... are you sure you didn't have any peyote when you were out there? No. I mean, I can't, I can't speak for my kid. That's a total... Yes, you can. I, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't leave that to his mom. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Danish philosophers, anyone? Yeah. <laughs> a Danish philosopher is actually a sex thing. That's why I did it. It was to fool the censors. <laughs> it's, the it same, it's the same, uh, very similar to a rusty trombone. <laughs> We'll now, take a break. We'll be right back. Man, I can relate to. I'm here with uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He told me I had something in my teeth. I didn't really believe him. Then I said in the commercial break, do I have something in my teeth? And he said, yeah, it really was there. And then it's gone now, though. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> what was it? It was like a head of lettuce. It was a head, a head <laughs> of lettuce in my teeth. It was a full-on head of lettuce. <laughs> we'll see that in replay tonight. I wonder, do we have, a, do you have any shots of the lettuce in my teeth? Because that's what folks want to see late at night. Uh, <laughs> I bet you when you were, like, dancing in front of the camera earlier. Probably. I feel self-conscious. Maybe doesn't we. Really matter. You still. What do you mean? It. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. It, ma it doesn't matter to it's, you. It's part of the charm of Craig. Part Ferguson. of the charm. Yeah, you're the only guy I know. Get away with a head of lettuce in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> He's got Who lettuce in his teeth. I had it all the way through the monologue. I had that lettuce. Well, tea. I didn't. I didn't. You I, didn't watch the monologue. That's I okay. Was, it's no, fair. I, <laughs> Damn. Rusty trombone. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I can't say it unless I show it. It's a get I like to think of the censors in this show as being a part of the creative team. Maybe it's just we just leave it on the desk and then you can bring it and say it anytime you want. <laughs> What's that you got there? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could. Although the mouthpiece looks new. Uh, wanna give it a blow? <laughs> you <roast> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> here, I'll do the trombone, you do the mouth organ, and we'll get out of here, all right? You ready? Yep. All right. Jeffrey D. Morgan, everybody, we'll be right back.
I've got Jeff, I've got a new friend coming. Oh, who's your friend? I've got a new friend. <laughs> My next friend is a very, very talented actress. She stars in the new series Vikings, which airs Sunday nights on the History Channel. Take a look at this. What do you want? We know you're all alone here. <laughs> You look sensational. Oh, Just thank sensational. You. Well done with your thing <laughs> and all that. It's lovely. I like your earrings too. What thank is that? Thank you. Um, I'm not sure. They're just some fun little, very different than the Vikings. Very yes. I was, <laughs> congratulations on the Vikings show. That's the top rated show on television. I know. I just read the numbers. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> it's like more people watch the Vikings than American Idol. They're like, screw American <laughs> Idol. We want large women fighting. <laughs> Women yeah, it's good. Do, do you do all that? Do you do all of that? Oh, you got it? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know. I grew up uh, training martial arts at the age of seven. I got my first black belt at 13. Really? Started my first school at 16. And uh, so I grew up in a Taekwondo gym. And Do you like, find men are intimidated or strangely attracted to your kick ass ability? <laughs> What are you saying? I'm Greg? saying I, I find it strangely intimidating <laughs> and uh, also kind of like, oh, that's kind of, I don't know why it's going on. <laughs> well, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, most people don't really expect from me, but I've been looking for a role I can stick my teeth into to do martial arts. Yes. Yeah, there's, oh, oh my God, I'll never forget it. I was teaching my school, Taekwondo, and it was late at night, I was preparing my students for their black belts, and it was about 10 30 at night. And why was it so late at night? Do you have to do it in the dark? <laughs> no, 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 but they're preparing for their big test, and we have like a six hour test for their black belts. Wow. And I remember I was um, pulling into this kind of strip mall. I decided to deposit some of the checks in the local ATM. And right beside, there was like a coffee shop with a bunch of guys hanging out. And this is not the best part of Toronto. It's kind of. Toronto? Ooh, la, la. Oh, no, it's, 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 <laughs> it's like a jungle up there. <laughs> yeah, Toronto's crazy. By the way, it's I crazy. like that little. Do you feel that little leg thing <laughs> have in there? Very you did nice. that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are a black belt, aren't you? Oh, yeah, just terrible. No, just. Anyway, the part. So these, the these Canadians jumped you? What exactly? I was in the ATM store about to like deposit money, and all of a sudden the door opens. One guy comes running towards me. The other guy comes right. I hit one to the groin, second to the groin, to the kidney. Get him down in an arm lock. And all of a sudden, I hear, Catherine. It was my friend. Your friend? Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> I know. Why would your friends run up to you at night? That's stupid. Never. I know. That's what I told them. Don't they know you're a kick-ass? <laughs> Hi-ya! You got that. You got yes. that yell. Hi -ya. The yell is the only thing I can do. Every, I do the yell and then run away. It's like, ah! <laughs> you can scare uh, them You off. can't run up. But you can't run up to any woman like that at night. You can't do that. You terrify her. Or man, for example. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. So you in the Viking thing? Do you play a Viking or? I play a real Viking. It's based on a real character. Really? Uh, yes. Michael Hurst created the show. He did Tudors and he wrote Elizabeth, and it, he worked with a historian to try to make it as accurate as possible. And Lagertha is a real kick-ass. Her name? Lagertha. Yeah, Lagertha, kick-ass woman who can actually fight. So she's. Uh, she was amazing when I did my research on her. Yeah, so it's, it's a real person then. It's this a real person. It's oh, a real wow. shield maiden. A shield maiden. I play like a fierce, strong woman who goes to battle with men, also fights alongside of them and during the shield wall. So they had battle. female warriors then? The they Vikings. had female warriors in the Dark wow. Ages. They did. So when the ship came to the shore, the giant Viking ship rolled up, they're like, ah, and they were like everyone would get off and it would be men and ladies getting off? Of course. Wow, I love this. It's kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fantastic. Kick -ass. Yeah. But see, my people, I think, were probably pushed around a bit by the Vikings. Your people? You're from Scotland. I right? am, yes, yes. Well, Where are you shot, from? We shot in Ireland. I'm actually from, born and raised in Toronto, Canada, but my heritage is Ukrainian. Ah, right. I've heard of Ukraine, but what's this other place? The Toronto <laughs> Can. <laughs> no, uh, I like it. Oh, okay. Oh. I just made that up. That, uh, uh, Я бачу твої дуже гарні волосся, я кажу, ти дуже красивна. Обожаю. Я тебе можу вбивати. Do you know what that means? I don't care what... <laughs>
I don't even know if I want to know what it means because it means a whole lot to me. <laughs> You're an expert at this talk show thing. Have you done it a lot? No, it's my first one. You're kidding me. I'm popping this. Sacre bleu. <laughs> 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 Very nerve-wracking. <laughs> yeah, you get, get I can have my air conditioning fixed in here. Right? <laughs> well, good for you, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you go back to the Ukraine a lot? I, you know, I didn't get a chance to go there yet. You've never been there? But Vikings actually invaded Ukraine. They went everywhere, the Vikings. They went everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Totally, they were the first navigators. They totally kicked ass. Yeah, and uh, although so. the, for, uh, for reasons which will become clear later, they were never in America. Well, actually, that's I know, I know that's rubbish <laughs> they were, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Who was it, Eric the Red, who landed in, uh, oh, in America? You know, there's, there's uh, the story about Vikings is the first, this is the first Viking, King of the Viking tribe. It's played by Travis Fimmel, who's amazing in it. And he's, uh, he's the first kind of guy who actually takes and builds these boats and navigates and explores the West. So. And goes all over to the... Uh, no, over. He went, probably went to Toronto. Probably went to Toronto. Yeah, he was probably in that very strip mall that you were in. <laughs> and he could have definitely killed those guys. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> well, listen, we're out of time. You did great. Uh, I, 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 wait, hey, hey, don't applaud. <laughs> Keep reminding me you're there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I gotta be honest with you, when she was saying that Ukrainian stuff and you did the ooh noise, you absolutely wasted it for me. <laughs> I could tell you again later. You could tell me again later, that'd be fine. <laughs> so, uh, we're out of time. What do you want to throw some frisbees at the horse? You want to uh, yeah. play the mouth organ? What do you want to do? I want the mouth organ. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, is that, I, wait, wait, I saw you do this weird thing. Oh, no, you don't want that. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, okay. <laughs> this is more like something that a Viking would have. It's just so... You, you want to... Because I've already, you know, we don't Okay, so what else do you have for me? Well, you, i got a mouth organ. Just, oh, you know... Oh, okay. Yeah, have a blow at that. You'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> you all right? I'm not very musical, though. Well, have you heard me play this thing? No, not yet. Nah. It's, it's, there's no problem here. You ready? What are we doing? Uh, we're going to a commercial break. We'll be right okay. back, everybody. We'll be right back. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? You know the uh, uh, Catherine that was here from the Viking show? You remember Catherine? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So, uh... Oh, mama. I know. <laughs> anyway, it reminded me of this thing. I once went to a Viking tomb in Scotland. Well, it's a Bronze Age tomb in Scotland, and I went inside, and Vikings had been there, and graffiti, they had written Viking graffiti on the, uh, on the wall of the tomb. And I was with this scientist, and I said to him, what does it say? And he said, oh, you, you don't want to know. And I'm like, of course I want to know. What does it say? Because it was in runic, you know, uh, writing. And he said, really? I went, yes. And he says, ah. Ingeborg Swenson has the biggest strudel in Norway. <laughs> the hell? That's what it said. Wow. <laughs> Men have been jerks for a very long time, everybody. Good night. Good night. <laughs>